Santos. Yes. The communication between Steve and Santos right now is like a bulldog over here. Come on, Santos. And a chihuahua over here. Two minutes. The bulldog's going. Rrr, 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 rrr. 30 seconds. All right, I got you. I got you. And the chihuahua's just like. Rrr, rrr. I can't have you yell at me. How long? I'm ready in what? Two minutes, chef. Good. Drive him then. Santos. Santos. Hey, yes, today, exactly. get with him. Go over there. I'm That's... putting her next to you. She's going to tell you what's going. What's next? Two bears. Two bears. Let her talk. Thank He's you. gonna fucking rip it. Well, saw Two bears. Two Wellington. Two duck. Steps in to communicate for Steve. Santos. Yes. Ah. Santos. Over in the red kitchen. I'm going with my four porks. Latasha has taught Sterling a valuable lesson. I'm walking by behind. Wait, wait, wait. Let her get okay. the garnish up there first. How to stay in sync with the rest of the team. Yes. See, now he's slicing the pork. They're working the pork dishes first. We're pumping out that food. Not really sure who to thank. Sterling or Latasha. We're good. First pork overcooked. Dry and overcooked. Sterling. What am I going to have to do? Go back and do it myself? Flash in another pork. I got you. While the red team waits for Sterling to refire the pork, on the blue side. Come on, guys. In spite of his communication challenges, two Wellington, two duck. Steve is delivering on the meat station. Fernanda, two sea bus. Walking. Everyone calm down. Don't fuck with me and my meats. Trust me, I know when they need to go out. Service, please. Yeah, the balance is all there. Straight after, two Wellington, two duck. Let's go, how long? I'm walking in 15 seconds. All right. All right. Two Wellingtons, two ducks. We now have to choose best in show, which I think is going to be very hard, but I do have a specific favorite. Walking right now. Walking behind. Thanks to a strong team effort. I'll figure out, please. Let's go. Entrees are leaving the blue kitchen without any issues whatsoever. The spinach is awesome. But in the red kitchen, they're still waiting on Sterling's. Pork, please. Hot behind you, chef. Pork. Two sea bastard, two salmon. How long? They're coming right now, chef. A beautiful color on there. Yes, chef. Wow, a compliment from Chef Ramsay. Second of happiness and move along. Service, please. Entrees are now leaving both kitchens at a good pace. How much longer is this going to take? Because we have a winner now, and we've been here for a long time. But not good enough, because the plan called for all entrees to be delivered before the winner could be announced. Two port, one salmon. How long? Two minutes. Yeah, two minutes on that. Judges, they reach their decisions. Yeah, yeah, How long for being gorgeous? Listen, two minutes. Sorry. Come on, Blue okay. Team, speed up. Walk to the window right now, sir. Hot pants, chef. Come on with the fucking Wellingtons. Behind. Service, please. Let's go, guys. Last ticket. Two seat bass, one duck, yes? Yes, yes, yes. How long? My last duck. Just please give me 20 seconds. Thank you. Everything's going great right now. Right behind you, chef. This is how it should be. Thank Two you. Two minutes? You heard Two minutes. Man. Two minutes, thank okay. you. A garnish is shit. Yeah, it's grease everywhere. Mm, just, it's just chef. so greasy. Santos, get another one fired. Come on, fucking finish this out. This taste of oil. Come on, man. You got it. Let's go. While Santos's garnish has put the brakes on the blue team's last table of entrees. I just looked at the plate. That's just grease. Chef Ramsay looks to the red team. Two port, one salmon, yes? I can go on yes, that. Chef. Hoping they can finish strong. Salmon garnish, yes? Yes. Walking. We started off poorly, but we're going to finish strong. We are not going down tonight. Service, please. Behind, salmon. Stop. Back to the super dry pork again. Sterling! It's so dry, it's wrinkly inside. I've seen pork jerky with more moisture. And it gets worse. Taste that. Oh, really? Damn it. Damn it. I appreciate you giving up your busy day to be here. Yeah, I'm excited to eat some animals. Good, 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 good. We're going to start off with the battle of the turkey. Let's go. Let's go. First up, it's Nedra versus Ray. OK. Nedra, let's go first, please. Um, I just was taking it back home. Turkey legs and sweet potatoes with some sweet potato strings. Just left the whole thing. It's like something from Captain Caveman. Would you not take the meat off the bone, or? I was trying to keep it rustic. You talking about it look like Captain Caveman. Let's just see how it's going to taste compared to Old Man Red. You definitely have plenty of salt on this, which is good. To me, I think the turkey legs could have been cooked a little bit longer. Yeah, and also I like the heat, but Needs a touch more cooking. Yes. Thank you. Right. I made two types of turkey meatballs. Right, you got a lot of balls, literally. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Just a little dry for me. Yeah. OK. Just but it needs good. sauce. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes, chef. Uh, John, if you had to choose one. This, personally, I would go with the red team. That dish represents my mom. How awesome is that? I just said, I'm going to go with what I know, and I went for what I knew, OK? 
Thank you, Chef. With Nedra's turkey giving the red team an early leg up. Okay, uh, battle of the duck, let's go. It's now time for Susan's duck breast with citrus quinoa. It's a pretty basic dish, but it's actually pretty tasty. To go head to head against Anthony's seared duck with jasmine rice. Your ducks cook good once again, which is good to see. But the crispy duck on the inside is almost too crispy. It sticks, it's sticking in my teeth. I think for this one too, Chef, I'd have to pick the red team. Red team, wow. Thank you, thank you, Chef. Uh, wow. Good job. Good job, way to go. With the red team adding to their lead. Okay, next up, um, lamb, let's go. Zach is hoping to get the men on the board with his lamb and roasted potatoes. I do enjoy your dish a lot. Good, the greens work beautifully. Yeah. Mary, please. As for Mary's pecan crusted lamb with couscous. I mean, it's raw. I don't want to kill Chef Ramsay. I don't want to kill him either. <laughs> it doesn't even stand a chance. This one I would have to go with the blue team. Okay, okay. Yes, Chef. Thank you. Sorry about that, Chef. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. <laughs> Get it together, woman. Uh, ladies, you're still in the lead, two to one. Amanda and Barrett's. Let's go. Amanda. Today, I prepared a seared pork uh, with the onion ragu and a cheesy gratin. It's such a relief to know that my potatoes came through for me. It was like, Phew. Where your teammate undercooked, you, you overcooked yours. Said, look, that's dry. My first con concern was getting the potatoes in, because I knew that they were going to take the longest. The hero was the protein, right? Yes, Jeff. Yeah. Hopefully your potatoes will outshine his pork dish. Barrett, please explain to John exactly what we've got here. What I have here is a pan-seared pork. Glistening and absolutely beautiful. Great job. I'm a beast. I mean, just that alone, I don't even have to pick who won, I don't think. Yeah. I mean, the blue team, definitely. Good Great. job. Really good job. No way, Barrett. Congratulations. Next up, blue team. With the blue team now trailing by $4.67. Hello, good morning. Next stop is Rochelle and Gabriel's trout dish. Trout's not really known for being a very luxurious fish. Which earns a lukewarm reception from the judges. The compound butter ends up making it sort of sloppy. Sloppy. I would say 22. I'd go 22. I would pay 20. 20. Average, $21.33. Uh, right, next up, Scott. Now, it's time for Scott to face the judges with his... pan roasted sea bass and jumbo shrimp. And despite mixed reviews... The fish was slightly overcooked, but the shrimp was spot on. Smart use of high quality proteins. He puts up a respectable score. I'd pay $24. I would say $24 as well. $23. Uh, that is an average price of $23.67. Great job. Thank you. And now, last up for the blue team is Melanie. Let's go. And with her team trailing by $7 after two rounds, she will have to score big to keep the blue team in the running. I seared the lamb chops, and then I finished them in the oven, roasted them with fresh rosemary and garlic. And then I made a lemon sage couscous. I'm honestly impressed by the fact that you could afford to put that much protein on a plate. It was a little rare, but the chard is great. I love it. Thank you. I think the flavors are really there. It's very impressive. It's nicely composed. In terms of price-wise, what would you be happy to pay for that? Maybe like $27? $27. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. I would pay $28 for that. $28. Wow. I'd give it a, a higher score, like a, a $29. Wow. Great job. Pretty good job indeed. Thank you. Average $28. That's why I'm here. Fuck yeah. Thanks to Melanie's stellar scores, the blue team is still in the game. Red team, you need an average of $21 to win. And now, it all comes down to... Joy, the red team. I just wasn't pleased with my plate. It was a mess. It just was a mess. I don't even want them to taste my dish. Right, Joy, what is that? For you, we have pork loin, which was seared and rubbed in black pepper, sage, and salt, spiced applesauce. What temperature are you going for? Um, like... Medium. I'm nervous just like it's me up there. Joy, she's stressed out about her dish, but I know she can do this. Get it, Joy. Uh, right, let's start off with Anita. That's a tough one. Um, 25. Mm -hmm. I was actually thinking 24. Protein's cooked beautifully. Thank you. I would say about $25, I would say. Yeah. Thanks, so Well done. Oh, Are you yeah. kidding me? <laughs> it's 
24-67. With that, red team, congratulations, you win the challenge. OK, give it to me. Wow, it's like, oh my God, I was shocked. We won it. <laughs> right behind you. Very nice, that risotto. Mika has finally delivered on her risotto. Pretty dang good. And the pressure is on T to keep up the momentum by delivering on her flatbread appetizers. Let's go, ladies. I need yeah. a full four minutes four on minutes? the flatbread. Can I get you anything? Actually, Mika, you could turn the one that's in the oven, Got please. Right behind you, right behind you. I was left by myself while Mika was doing pizzas for tea. Right behind you, right behind you, right behind you. Mika, you gonna cut it? The bottom's black. Is it mad burn? Yeah, that shit burnt that fast. Tea, are we still looking good? No, no. So, young lady, the flatbreads aren't ready. Why bring the cappellini? It shouldn't have gone up, chef. It shouldn't have gone up. No, chef. I'm trying to help. Tea on garnish. All of a sudden, there's this pasta up there, and I'm just like, what? All of you. Yes, Come chef. Here, chef. Ooh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, sorry. sorry. Let me tell you something. Seriously, sorry. I've got half of this table here. Where's the flatbread? Chef, one is burnt. Yeah, one is burnt. So that's the flatbread. There's the cappellini with it. I've got no idea where the coordination is. I said to you about the timing. Get it together. Yes, yes chef. chef. While the red team tries to work out their timing. Two Wellington, one pour, one table side. How long, Nick? Two minutes, Chef. Two minutes? Yes. The blue team has moved on to entrees. Perfect. And Nick is delivering his perfectly cooked meats to the pass. Oh, man. Do you think that pork was a little under? No. Not for me, not for my okay. taste. Hey, all of you, come here. Who sent that to me? Me, Look. me too. Hey, why? Look. Look, it's fucking raw. Undercooked pork is dangerous. You know, you can jeopardize somebody's life, especially a pregnant woman with a fetus. It won't happen again. Fuck me! It will not happen again. I would eat that pork the way it was. That's just me. Three minutes to the window, OK? As Nick stalls the blue kitchen with his undercooked pork entree. Go with the flatbread, please. Let's go. The red kitchen is finally kicking it into gear on their appetizers. Really good. And now Chef Ramsay is looking for scallops from Monique and Allison. Ladies! Yes, Chef. Monique, just what? throw it up. I wanted to make sure I was ready. Walk in with scallops. I know I'm solid with my scallops. This ain't my first time in the kitchen. These are fucking disgusting. This is cooked to fuck. Ladies! Yes, Chef. Come chef. here. All of you. What is happening? Touch them! Just touch how rubber they are. Yeah, it's not gonna bite, it's fucking dead. Yes, yes chef. chef. Chef, Chef. Allison, who cooked those scallops? Money, chef. Like, what a bitch move. I can't stand Allison. Your accent's stupid, your makeup's stupid, you're stupid. You've got no idea they're rubber. Way overcooked. Yes, chef. Start again. Two risotto, two scallops. Yes, chef. I'll do the scallops. I can't have money drive the fish station down. Two scallops for a scallop since you're over there. While Allison takes the lead on the scallops, over in the blue kitchen. Nothing is coming out until that fucking pork. Where is it? Right at the pork, chef. The men are still trying to recover from Nick's undercooked pork. Nick! Yes, Chef. It's fucking raw. He said it was under again, but it. I guess it's all relative at this point. Brandon, he's giving me pork raw twice. It's a fucking joke. Nick had the pork come back twice. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Enough, enough. Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. chef. 